So there's a high wall around the perimeter of the lab. Climbing over it probably isn't an option. But there must be an entrance somewhere. Keep your eyes open. The best source of information about the facility is the people going in and out of it. What's wrong? I see you've made it inside the outer wall. Sokolov is inside the lab. Look for a way in and use it to infiltrate the lab. Support request one four seven point eight two. Ho, 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 ho. Freeze. Uh. It'll be difficult to keep a low profile inside a building, even if you're wearing camouflage. Keep a constant watch on your surroundings. Stay alert and don't enter the enemy's line of sight. You may be able to fool the enemy by disguising yourself as an object commonly found inside buildings. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then, when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel... safe. Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh-huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean! Between you and Paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with the Major Strange? Yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. Huh? Footsteps. There's nobody here.
Are you smoking a cigar? Uh-huh. I don't approve of you smoking during a mission. Hey, you used to smoke them. Never mind what I did. Ugh. Quit smoking them during the mission. Uh, Hear me? Yes, ma'am. You're in a building. If people are living there, there's bound to be people food. People food? Soviet military rations. It beats eating raw snakes and mushrooms all the time, doesn't it? Getting to like raw snake and mushroom. You really are turning into an animal. Huh? What's that sound? Got yourself some claymores. 
The M18A1 Freeze. Claymore is a new type of anti-personnel directional mine no, wait. developed in the U.S. after the Korean War. The gently curved casing is packed with a pound and a half of high-grade explosives. Uh. The side facing the enemy is lined with 700 steel ball bearings. So when the mine explodes, the ball bearings simultaneously burst out of the casing. Anyone in the kill zone, be he friend or foe, is instant Swiss cheese. The mine is triggered by an electric detonator. Apparently, the detonator's got some kind of special motion detector built in. Yeah. When the mine is planted, it reacts to anything that comes close and automatically explodes. Just make sure you don't trip your own mine or something stupid like that. I'll be careful. You can pick up a planet Claymore by crawling over it. Snake, be careful. That area is supposed to be inhabited by cobalt blue tarantulas. The cobalt blue tarantula is a poisonous spider with a highly potent venom. If you get bitten, go into the survival viewer immediately and use cure to administer a serum injection. There are many different varieties of tarantulas. The cobalt blue is part of a group called earth tigers. They build their nests mainly underground and are highly aggressive. Their diet consists of not only insects, but also mice and even snakes. Interesting. So, how do they taste? Are you really going to eat them? Naturally. So? It says here they're not very good. Damn. Don't act so surprised. Isn't it obvious? Why would it be obvious? It's a spider, for goodness sake. A big one, but still a spider, and there's not much to it. Yeah. If only it were as big as the one in Earth vs. the Spider. The what? Earth vs. the Spider. It's a movie about this gigantic spider. When it's small, it's about 15 feet wide. But when it's big, it's about 35 feet wide. What do you mean when it's small and when it's big? The size changes from scene to scene. It happens all the time. I see you captured a poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is native to the tropical rainforest of Central and South America. They normally grow between two and five centimeters in length, but for some reason the ones in that area seem to be much bigger than that. Poison dart frogs are known to carry a potent neurotoxin called homiliotoxin. Long ago, people used the poison to coat their arrows for hunting. Watch out, because if you eat one, you'll get food poisoning. Should be around here somewhere. This is HQ. What's going on? We're 
are under fire. Enemy position unknown. Commencing alert status. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. What is that you have in your hands? <laughs> Honestly, when did you start reading magazines like that? <laughs> Didn't I teach you how to take care of business without having to rely on that sort of thing? Anyway, I'm sure some of the enemy grunts will find that sort of magazine as appealing as you seem to. Place it on the ground and you might be able to divert their attention. <laughs> If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. <sighs> you're crocked, aren't you? A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Well... This technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal... gear? A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. To capitalism! <laughs> 